Welcome to the GHE. In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to make a push mushroom. The first thing I'm going to do is start with a 10 millimeter clear rod. I'm going to clean up the end of it a little bit. Just pull off the bit of scrap glass from the last project. Now I'm just going to keep heating, slowly forming this in a ball, just allowing heat and gravity to do it for me. I want the ball to be roughly the same size as the finished pendant. Alright, now that we have a good ball, I need to allow it to cool off. I'm going to go ahead and set it to the side while I prep the next piece of glass. I'm using a black rod. It's a little fatter than I actually want it to be. So I'm going to start heating up the end and I'm going to pull down the tip of this just a little bit, giving myself about an inch and a half to two inches of pulled glass to be able to work with. Just pull off the end. Clean it up just a little bit so I got a nice point to it. The reason that we let it cool off is because it's important that we only heat half of this ball to be able to make the push mushroom. So just the front half of it is in the flame. I'm going to slightly begin to heat up the tip of my black rod. And once that front half of my clear ball is nice and liquid, I'm going to stick the two of them together and push the black rod into the clear rod. And it just naturally makes that mushroom shape. I'm going to burn off that black rod. So that all I'm left with is the encased mushroom. Now the bottom of this piece is a little bit of a weird shape, so I just need to get the whole thing melted back down together, starting at the top of the mushroom, forcing any air bubbles out through the bottom as it melts.
and give it a little bit of help. Just pushing it into that final shape. Now just smooth everything out. I'm going to use gravity here a little bit too in order to lengthen the piece stretch that mushroom that's on the inside. And that's all it takes to make a push mushroom. I'm going to turn this one into a pendant. So as this cools, I'm going to go ahead and punty to the bottom just by heating up my clear rod a little bit and sticking them together outside of the flame. So there's not a liquid seal, there's a punty seal where the two will break apart later on. A little warm and stick. Now I'll start heating up the top of the mushroom and pulling down the clear into the diameter that I want for the loop of the pendant. I'm also pulling just to one side, just to give it a little bit of help for the final loop shape. Now a large part of this is done with gravity. I'll help it along eventually. But we're just gonna heat up the end, kind of allow it to fall over. Starting at the tip, working my way back to the mushroom itself. Help. A little more help. And we'll go ahead and seal the two together. Now I just want to make sure they're fully melted together. I want to make sure that my loop is round as well as straight to the actual mushroom. And there we go. Time to snap off that punny. I'm going to slightly warm my tweezers, grab it by the loop, and give it a good knock on the top of my torch. And then just fire polish the bottom. And this concludes our tutorial on how to make a push mushroom. Thank you for subscribing to the GHE.